Welcome back to the Sweat Elite Training Sessions YouTube channel. In this episode, I feature a workout that I shot a little over a week ago now at Wake Forest University in North Carolina. I joined Athanas Kyoko, Kenyan-born athlete that's competed in the NCAA system that has ultimately placed third at NCAA cross for a workout as he prepared for the 10 at Sound Running that took place last weekend. And this workout was actually originally planned to air on the channel last week. I just had a few technical difficulties with my MacBook and had to get a new one uh, after quite a struggle over a few days. But this workout was shot in, it was basically one of his last specific workouts leading up to the 10,000 meters. Athanas has personal bests of 1309 in the 5,000 meters and 2723 in the 10,000 meters. Athanas just missed his personal best at the 10. He was very, very close. But nonetheless, this workout was really interesting for me to join him on. And it was a very uh, special bonus to have coach John Hayes, who's the head coach of track and field at Wake Forest University, be there for the workout and provide some commentary as well. So I hope that you enjoy this training session with Kenyan born runner, Athanas Kyoko. Thanas, Kyoko, thanks for having me at your workout today. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you so much for coming. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling yeah. rough. What do you have on the on the training today? You have the, the 10 coming up next weekend? Yeah, I have the 10. So you must I... have a pretty important workout if I'm coming out to Wake Forest? Yes, sir. So <laughs> uh, today I have uh, three miles continuous, yeah. 80, and then after that I have some medium fast uh, one, five, five by one K. Yep. And then after that I have 200 and stop times four, which I will run them right around 29, 28, days, yeah. Okay, right so, around it's, there. so pretty quick towards the end? Yeah, pretty quick towards the end. How long is the warm up? Uh, the warm up is two miles. Two miles? Yeah. Through the forest? Yeah. And I guess before we go to the track, I'm here to ask what is your sort of total weekly volume looking like right now? Uh, my weekly volume is at around 85 to 90. 85 to 90 miles? Yeah. So about 140 to 155, yeah, 100, yeah. around 150 k. Yeah. yeah. Do you think in miles or kilometers? I mean, you are Kenyan? I do miles. You do miles now? Yeah. Okay, nice. Slowly becoming American. Yes, sir. <laughs> Do you normally get conditions this good in Wake Forest? Uh, it has been a little cold for most of the time. Yeah. So it's like we are now starting to have some good weather. Which I'm not a fan of the cold weather, so the this is getting good for me. The Kenyans, get, you, you guys get cold easily, huh? When yeah, it gets down to like uh, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, it's difficult. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I have been trying to adapt, so a 45 is good for me, but anything below that, oh no. So do we have any set paces or anything for the for the workout? We got 4,800 meters, I assume, at tempo first. Yeah. Has coach set you any specific targets to hit, or? So the 4,800 was is supposed to be like right around 4:45 pace per mile, and then for the case it's right around 250 down to around 255, and then some 200s faster. Like uh, around 29, 28. Okay. Yeah. So the tempo is basically at threshold. The 1Ks are at uh, not pretty close to the 10K pace, not too far. Yeah, not a little, a little bit slower. Yeah, it's just like right around 28 minutes, 10K pace. Yeah. yeah so. And then the 200s, uh, basically like mile pace. Yeah, mile pace. Yeah.
Okay, we're gonna get started. Time to start. Okay, two miles. Two miles. How three. many? How many laps? Not Eight. Three. <laughs> three miles. Yeah, three miles. Okay, laps. let's go. And so this sort of workout, what uh, when you're planning this? I mean, you're ten days out from the, the ten. Yeah. What's the the thought? It's like a little bit of running a threshold, a little bit a bit quicker. How do you see it? Yeah, I mean, one, I didn't want to. I want to make sure we're not focused just on the 10, right? Mm. Like that's just a, that's going to be a data marker for us on, as to where he is. Um, and, uh, but I wanted to get him, you know, he's been doing just a lot of threshold or we, we, we call MP and then AT and, you know, and he's been doing a lot of that. Um, just wanted to lower the volume of, of a, of a session or a day. Uh, you know, we've been getting a lot, a lot more volume in a day than, than today. Um, uh, so, he, so he's feeling a little bit better for the tent, but uh, th by no means is there a, a, a strong back off like this is the goal necessarily. Uh, like, I, th I think he can run fast off of this, and uh, um, but uh, we're not. There's no real aim at this. Yeah, sure. right. You understand that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I just, it's a practice race, basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, where he was last year, what was he ranked tenth in the world last year? Um, I, I think I think we missed on something. I think he could be much better than that. Um, and uh, by the time he got to Kenya, uh, I don't think he was. I think he was a little under the weather when he ran Kenyan Nationals, and and so we want to we want to uh, get it right this year. Yeah, sure. Olympic year, big year. Twenty-seven, twenty-three while pacing last year, yep. uh, and then he so. I don't, is he in better shape or worse shape? That, that I, I really can't can't tell yet uh, because I wasn't training. I didn't see him for a huge long period of time while he was back in Kenya. Right. Um, he had gotten hurt. He was, uh, he was, uh, you know, I stopped training him after, I don't know, somewhere mid, mid summer last year and, and just said, all right, we need to relax. But he, he wanted to keep going. So he I'm always wants running. to race. So, uh, but uh, you know, I think he got dinged up a little. He ran a half marathon, not not in great shape and stuff. And uh, uh, but he, he's coming around. I mean, he's he's just he's so good. He's so good. Yeah. Can we get the spikes out? Yeah, spikes up. The case. Nice. Which uh, which bike is that? This is the cross country record cross country uh, spike, yeah. and uh, it's a little. Uh, a little responsive and I usually try to wear it during my workouts yep. but for for racing I, I will use a different shoe okay. yeah. are you wearing a different shoe in training just so that it's like a better feeling on race day or no uh, yeah for yeah. better feeling during race so day. on race day you got a, big, a bigger advantage basically yes sir yeah. And he's got so much ability, and he's got so much joy that he brings to everything. And he's he's wonderful to be around. Um, he lives in my basement, okay. yeah. <laughs> so just right through the woods there. Yeah. Okay, as you approach these K's, uh -huh. I know you said 250, 255. Are you looking for like a feeling, or are you looking for a time, or are you just running? What's yeah, your mindset? Yeah. Yeah, he has a feeling. Just a feeling. Yeah. Feeling like around just a little bit slower than 10k pace, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like uh, these paces are pretty conservative. They're not. They're not anything. A real hard pace today. So, but um, gives them a little something to. I want him to do. I want to slowly start working on making sure his well his closing speed was there. <laughs> and uh, but it was closing speed off of a slow pace when he ran, when he ran 13 18. So he's got to be able to close hard off a fast pace. Looking smooth. What was that? That was a 248. 248? Yes, sir. Nice start. Yes. And so when you're giving him these one Ks, is there... I mean, I guess I'm pretty fascinated and interested, interested in... Is it a 10K goal pace? Is it a 10K effort? No, is it's, it a, it's, is it's, it a, it's a 10K conservative pace. Yes. And, and that, that's what this is. And uh, I just want to give him something 
aerobic, but not. Uh, I don't want to. We don't need goal pace stuff right necessarily this week. We've, we've done some done some work. Uh, like a week ago, we did a hard. A week and a half ago, we did 10k goal pace stuff. Um, uh, so th this is just conservative 10k pace, just to get a movement. Here. Number two. Yeah, number two. How'd it go? Two for the seven. Feeling good? Feeling good. Feeling comfortable? Yes, sir. Could you pick up the pace if it was a 10K race? I think yes. you could. I could, but I don't have to. You don't have to today? Yes, sir. That's good. Keeping things under control? Yeah. Nice. Is there any really key specific workouts that you see leading up to a, a, a 10 or a 5 for him? I know you mentioned that this is just another race, but um, when, when things get very serious... In potentially, like, yeah. potentially. It really depends on how much he uh, how much he races. Yep. If, if he races a lot, then there's no specific work. It's just keep... Uh, like, there's no specific workout we're gauging it toward. So you've done 1-200? Yeah. 27? 27. Okay. And you're still in the same spikes, the cross-country ones? Yeah. They feel pretty good over these paces, even? Yeah, feel yeah. good. This is like 800 meter pace. It's <laughs> yeah. like 150, 800 meter pace. Do you think you can run 150? My PR is a 149. Oh, you run under 150. Nice, yeah. nice. That's, that's good going. You know, the base, when I started coaching, uh, the, uh, the objective was make sure he gets a contract, gets on his feet professionally, and then sometime he'll branch out and find a training group. Yep. And um, and he's going to have to to take the steps to the next level, in my opinion, um, because because my focus always has to be on the team here. Um, but he's he's enjoying it. I think as long as we make steps in the right direction this year, if he goes up to the uh, marathon at some point in time, which okay. I, I think he's going to consider doing. Uh, so he's on his 200 now, I think. Yeah. 71s? Yeah. Uh, 245, 445, 44, 43. Okay. Yes. So it was pretty relaxed. Yeah, pretty good, relaxed. Good, good. Yeah. Yeah, that's the big thing. So you felt like that was a pretty successful morning? It was. Got everything done? Very successful. The weather is good. Yeah. I think the weather was waiting for us to do it. Yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure. Yeah, and so the. The 200s at the end, they were they were all under 28, was it? So all the 200s were under 28. Yeah. And they closed the last, the last two in 26 and 25. 25. Yeah. Was, this yeah. is like your last uh, last 200 meters of a 5k pace. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me at your workout. It's been fun to come to Wake Forest. Yeah, it was fun to have you around here. If people want to follow you, what uh, what what can they follow? <laughs> So my Instagram is Atanas Kyoko or the diver. Okay. Yeah, that is uh, my username. Then I'm also in Facebook and TikTok. Nice. But mostly I am active on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, we'll link you in the in the video. Yeah. And good luck next week at the ten. But then most importantly at the Kenyan trials in the five k. Yeah. 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 All through the. Season. Through the whole season. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. Good luck, man. Yeah. Thank you, sir.